nice to have you here. So tell us what's happening at, uh, at Brolink. Sure. Uh, it's quite a bit happening on our side. Uh, we're, we're going through a, a massive system refresh right now. So we've just uh, actually invested quite a bit into our WebShore system. We have developed a new user interface that will actually be a brand new um, way that our brokers interact with our system. And it's really exciting because the, the way that it actually makes the process of selling insurance quicker and the way that it actually helps the broker have a, a better experience on platform, we think it's really going to be a, a big boon to the market. And so the way that I understand it, your WebShare system um, helps the broker intermediary focus more on what they're good at, which is engaging with their clients, adding real advice, while you take care of all the, the back end. Exactly. So I was interested then to, to hear that you also work with, um, with Pineapple that we've been speaking to. So is that, you know, how does that fit in with the broker support and what exactly do you do for these fintechs? So, so it's actually we deal with Pineapple and Control. So, so Pineapple are, are one of our, they were actually our first uh, InsureTech partner. And what we do with Pineapple is we actually facilitate all of the back-end insurance admin that their front-end application shows off to the customer. So Pineapple actually have a great user interface and the application actually gives the customer quotes really quickly and they can make changes in the policy. But somewhere in the back end, the insurer needs to be made aware of exactly what's happening on these policies. Mm. So our WebShow system has an API into the Pineapple system and whatever changes happen on the app actually get replicated on our back end. So we can actually issue a policy record and process a premium collection and settle a claim in respect of the Pineapple solution. So Brolink sees itself then playing a role within the industry um, intermediary space and with the fintechs, um, adding value across the board, not just focus on what you've traditionally been doing. Definitely, and, and it's, it's our big focus and in fact our CEO's new vision is about being the leading intermediary in the space and actually facilitating the disruption of the industry. And that's exactly what's happened since he's taken the helm. We've invested in, in relationships like Pineapple and Control. We've developed our new user interface. Um, we've, we've soft launched it to a few brokers and their eyes almost pop out of their heads mm. with native Google Maps uh, mm. navigation and Street View. And so it's really an amazing a new kind of fresh vision that's come to the company. Yeah, and I like your terminology in terms of collaboration and assisting the disruption. So Peter from Control spoke at the FIA um, summit in 2018. And what was really interesting, apart from these FinTech guys definitely share a passion, because he was also excited, is he's very much in the intermediated space. So he's not seeing FinTech and InsureTech getting rid of intermediaries, but rather helping them serve their clients. Definitely, and, and we see that as well, because in an instance where you have a plethora of choice where a customer can enter into a transaction themselves, sometimes someone just needs to know they're picking the right product. Mm. So having an independent platform provider like us giving these intermediaries various options to actually make sure the customer gets the right product, the right fit, I think is actually helping the industry grow and fostering greater trust in the industry as well. Mm. So Kush, we've been chatting a little bit to um, uh, these pioneers, FinTech and SureTech and now yourself. Your official title is Chief Financial Officer for Bowling, is that right? Um, so you guys are all like crazy, hectic, boring, insurancy, um, actuarial, finance type people. It's very um, intimidating for me. And yet you are here with a pink shirt and polka dot uh, socks. So tell us, how do you choose what you wear every day? Um, what does your uh, partner choose or how do you go about it? Uh, literally today I tried to look for my most adventurous outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job. So, <laughs> so I thought uh, pink shirt and I tried to go <laughs> ruffle through. My wife actually bought me these socks. Um, something kind of matching pink. Uh, Josie did tell me that uh, you're quite adventurous. So I said, right, I'm not going to come here in a black and white suit with a black tie. <laughs> I need to try and I'm be sure Josie's phrased it a bit differently. She, uh, she's got flowery language when it comes to describe me. <laughs> so, so how did you get to Brolink? Um, sure. So it actually goes back uh, quite a ways. So I was working at Mutual Federal at the time. And, um, and Howard, our CEO, was mm. also working there at the time. And we were selected to form part of a project. It was a project to think about how do we make talent a central focus for Mutual and Federal. So we were on the project team together. And uh, we kind of got to know each other there. Then I moved off to FNB and Howard moved off to uh, Santam. And we just kind of always kept in touch. And then Howard got the appointment into the Brolink CEO position. And he said, listen, I actually need someone to come in and assist with the, with the finances. Is it something I'd be interested in? So sat down, had a chat with the board and uh, yeah, yeah, all the stars aligned.